It is another day of athletics, another day of celebrating excellence when it comes to field and track events in World Athletics Championship. Ghana took part on day four of the competition, but unfortunately, despite a season's best of 20.404, Joseph Paul Amwa, the only athlete who is competing in the 200 meters, he was unable to qualify to the semi-final. First day, not the best. Second day for Ghana, not the best. But Joseph Paul Amoa has got a message for Ghanaians. Make it to the relay finals, possibly medal. Intrinsically, I'm, I'm motivated to do this. Um, and the more you're motivated to do it, you're able to reach heights that will, you know, bring the extrinsic motivation. So, um, I'll say internal motivation. It has been a year that many Ghanaians were really expectant of this atlas, but unfortunately, the emotions of Ghanaians appears to have been dampened by the performance witnessed so far. Would there be a point where things would change? Joseph Paul Amoa attributed his performance to long injuries, but says he's confident that he'll be back to his best. Um, I think the 200 meters is not, is not as short as 100, and you need endurance and stuff like that to be able to cross the line. And um, looking at the injuries that I faced during the season, there were some training um, breakouts that I wasn't able to do or finish. So it kind of, you know, the endurance part, it's kind of not there, but, you know, we still want to push to see how best we can come out with the results here. If there is a stage to celebrate excellence when it comes to athletics, that stage is a world stage. A stage put together by the world athletics. And this is a stage where champions are made. Unfortunately, Ghana is yet to see a champion. Would that story change? Hope now is reliant on Deborah Aqua and a quartet just before the event wraps up. Uftar Nabila Abdullah, Joy Sports.